This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to discuss changing InDesign's default settings. If you'd like to follow along, go to File, Open, and in the Sample Files folder, select 0206, Changing Defaults is so easy, and just click Open. Once again, I'd like to mention that all of the beautiful images in our sample layouts are from www.photospin.com. Why don't we jump right into defaults? I always say that changing defaults in InDesign is so easy, you can do it by accident. The way you change defaults in InDesign is with nothing selected, change anything. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the swatches panel, and I don't have anything selected. I'm just going to click on the cyan colored swatch. And you can see it's changed in the icons to the upper left of the swatches panel and also in the tools panel. But watch what happens if I go to my rectangle tool, and to draw a rectangle, I just click and drag. It's filled in with cyan. I changed my defaults by accident because nothing was selected. Let me go to my selection tool and deselect my rectangle. If I go back to the default settings, which is a black stroke and no fill, and now I go back to my rectangle tool and just click and drag, now I'm back to my defaults. You can see it right in the tools panel. No fill, there's a line through the fill, and a black stroke. But I changed some other defaults the last time I had this document open. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to a graphic frame and just click and drag with some of that rectangle overlapping my column of text. And you can see the text is automatically wrapping around that object. That's not the way the default is set up. The reason it changed is because at some point, let me just go to my selection tool, with nothing selected, I went into the text wrap panel and I clicked on wrap around bounding box. So it's wrapping around the bounding box of any new object that I create. If I wanted to get back to my defaults, I would deselect all objects and then click on no text wrap in the text wrap panel. Now, when I go to a graphic frame and click and drag, it's not wrapping around that new object. So I'm back to where I started. But what if I wanted to change my defaults for all new documents? Well, what I would have to do is actually close any open documents and then change my defaults. Let me give you an example of when you may want to change defaults. Let's say I have a boss and he says that he never wants to see hyphens in any of our documents. Well, what I can do is go to the Paragraph Styles panel with nothing open and double click on Basic Paragraph, which is my default style for text formatting. What I could do is go into Hyphenation and uncheck Hyphenate. Or, just as common, people don't like the default typeface. Is there a way I can actually change it for all new documents? Close all of my documents. And maybe instead of Minion Pro Regular, I want to choose under the G's Adobe Garamond Pro. It's under the G's because it's a Garamond. If I click OK and now open a new document. And let me make sure that I have a primary text frame. I really don't need facing pages. And I'm going to click OK. If I go to my type tool and I go to my type menu and choose Fill with Placeholder Text. It is actually using Adobe Garamin Pro. It's the new default for all of my new documents. There's a lot of things you can change to make InDesign work exactly the way you want it to. But be aware, anything you change with no documents open is now the default for all new documents. And if you're in a document, anything that you change without any objects selected will become the new default for that particular document. We're going to continue to talk about the basics of InDesign in the next lesson.